Let's explore Zoho Social. Zoho Social is a um, an application that allows you to bring all or most of your social media accounts for your business into one place where you can not only post from there, but you can respond. You can comment on those posts on any and all of the platforms. And you can even respond to um, direct messages. So we're going to go in and check it out. If you have Zoho One, you can go to the um, menu. And if you don't already have Zoho Social added to your Zoho One, then you should add it. Make sure you add it before you try to use it so that it won't create additional Zoho accounts um, because that happens. I see it happen all of the time. Um, so you've got your applications here. These are in alphabetical. So we've got Zoho Social here. Okay, so it is there. Awesome. All right, so let's just um, go back. And we could also go to social.zoho.com to get there once it's been added to your Zoho one. So here you're, you're only going to see one social media account. As you can see, you can add a Facebook group, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Google My Business, YouTube, Pinterest, and TikTok. All of those platforms are supported by Zoho Social. And once you add them, you will have columns here, one for each of the channels, right? So Facebook would be here, Instagram, LinkedIn. And then also here, you would have them listed. So you would have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn listed with your total number of followers and your um, percentage of posts, whether they go up or down, followers go up or down. And then when people react or interact with you, you'll have this live, sh live stream here. Well, it will show a list of the people who have commented, liked, and so on. And you can just click on those from there. I am going to go over to social.zoho.com because I really like that view better. So you would just type in social.zoho.com after you're logged into Zoho. If you're using Zoho One, it'll, well, whether you're using Zoho One or not, if you have social, you can get there that way. Um, so here you are, you're going to have your brand. If you have more than one brand, you would click this drop down at the top to toggle between your brands. Um, you can, I don't know if there's a max on how many you can add. I know you can add multiple. I think at one time I had like three or four. Um, but yeah, you can see everything on the dashboard on the home screen um, as far as stats go and your most recent posts. If you want to go into the details, clicking on posts will show you a list of all of the posts that were recently created or created in general. Actually, it's going to show all of them. Um, and you can click and you can actually read them and you can reply or comment. If someone else has uh, commented, you can reply. Um, you can also see the likes and so on. So right here, we'll see there's one like here. Over here, these are the published posts that have already been published. If you had multiple platforms, you would see them all listed here and you would just click on each one to see the posts. Scheduled posts would look the same way, except they will be those that you have scheduled and they have not posted yet. And then if you're using some type of approval process, you'll have that here. Any posts that have, have not been published would be here. And then you've got a draft section. So they all pretty much look just like this. They're just categorized. This calendar will show you what has been posted on which days. So if there were posts on here, you would see the name of it and you can add them from here. So if I wanted to create a post on the 14th, once I click on that, I can, you know, write, add an image or a video, location, set targeting, add hashtags or emojis. And then I can schedule it for today at a certain time or publish now. And I can choose to repeat the post. I can also use the um, smart queue. OK, if I'd like, this is for publishing whenever your audience is most likely to engage. It's like a built in technology of some sort where they 
kind of, um, you know, gather information to know when your audience will most likely reply. And that can vary from business to business. And then, of course, this is the queue where you can just add it to a queue. All right. So once you you create that, you can uh, schedule it, post it, and it will show up on the calendar. It will also show up under scheduled posts. Um, So you've got your social library. If you have any media that you'd like to add, you can also add designs um, on Canva. This is where the messages are. So if there are any messages that um, you have that are going back and forth between you and your followers, you would access those here. Monitor will just allow you to monitor your leads and your contacts. So if there were contacts in the CRM that are also followers on social media, you would see those listed. And then you would be able to add these different columns in order to engage with those, with your, um, you know, the brand. Uh, Those connections are here. Anyone who's recently engaged, you can literally click on them and see the details. And it shows what they've done. So she liked this post, this post, and so on. And then I could add her personal info if I were to gather that information. If it's someone who's in the leads, CRM leads module, you would see those listed here. And if they're in the contacts module, you would see those listed here. All the connections are here. All right, so collaborating is for your team. So within your team, you will be able to collaborate on any posts. You can have discussions, create drafts, do approvals. All of that happens here. And this is all for your internal use. Then, of course, you have reports. These are pretty, um, pretty cool. You can, you can uh, see the summary right here. It's going to give you some pretty useful information. Also show you how much, how many impressions you're getting. And then your audience details shows you exactly where your, your followers are. The posts and engagement, how many they've liked each of those. Here are your top posts the best time for you to post. So these are some really useful analytics and it's gathering this for, um, you know, your uh, platforms, the platforms that you've connected. Here's the performance of how you're doing. Okay, so you get the idea and of course Messenger as well. Uh, Lead forms, this is where you can create um, a connection between like your Facebook ads if you're running those you can go through the prompts to set that up so that it'll connect the two it's really interesting you can pull those leads in directly into the CRM if you have this all set up and when they hit the CRM let me see if I can pull this up so let's say you have them set to go into the leads module then once they're in the leads module, that lead source will say Facebook or Facebook ad or something of that nature. All right, and you saw how to create a new post. You would simply click on create new post. And then uh, you have this other option to uh, to create uh, content. Uh, over here, we've got your notifications. So any no- notifications for the team will be here. Your notifications are here. These are the settings. In the back end, once you go to the settings, there are a lot of different things that you could set. So for example, lead generation, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's unfortunately not for every platform, but I think Facebook and maybe Twitter. And what you can do is you could say, oh, add this person as a lead in my CRM if they comment on my post or if they send a message using these keywords. And you can literally add those keywords. You can see here, it gives you the option of adding them as a lead or a contact, and you would just simply turn it on or off. And again, once they go into the CRM, the lead source will say Facebook. You've got roles and permissions where you can give people access, like on your team, access to everything or just some uh, certain brands, whether or not they can publish and, you know, access the messages and things like that. Okay, and these are the social channels. This is where you can go in and connect 
each of the channels. So if you don't do it at the very beginning, when you first set up Zoho Social, you can always go to the settings and then go under social channels and connect each one. You're simply logging in. In some cases, um, you may have to do an extra step. Like I think with Facebook, you have to allow from your Facebook page for Zoho to access it. If you're having trouble with that, my suggestion is to do a quick Google search on how to allow Zoho to access Facebook. And then you'll get some instructions on what to do there. Overall, Zoho Social is a time saver. It's where we can go in and see everything from one place, not having to log into each um, you know, platform. And it's, it's, it's just like some of the other brands that are out there that are social media schedulers. The beautiful thing about it is if you are a Zoho user, it makes it even more handy because it's a Zoho application and it easily integrates with Zoho CRM and the, you know, maybe one or two of the other app. Remember to go to learn.successfulsolutions.com if you would like more free training on Zoho. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can bring you more content that would allow you to be able to maximize your Zoho system.